As we come to the end of the school year, I know that a lot of us are giving state tests, which are really stressful for our students. We're giving final exams. Um, so I wanted to share something that you could do um, now or you could start it in the fall. And it's really cool to see students grow over the course of the year. So it's a positive or a challenges form. I like to do both. So you can click on new in your Google Drive, click on Google Forms. And when that comes up, you're going to have a form. So I'm going to go ahead and label this our positive and challenge form. And then I click up here and it will change my name. So now I want to add a question. So I'm going to click the plus sign and then. So my first question is, what is your first name? This makes it easier for me to sort. I'm going to make it required. My second question is, what is your last name? Because I have students that have the same first and last name. Again, I'm going to make it required. Because I like to do this from the fall all the way through the year, I'm going to um, add a date to this. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to click the date and I'm going to make this required. So by making it required, it's forcing the students to answer each of these questions. So I'm going to click add another question and I like to ask them something positive that happened this week. And this one, I don't want to make it multiple choice. If it doesn't automatically switch to a paragraph, I want it to be a paragraph. And again, I want to make it required. So what happens? So there's times throughout the year where the students might struggle, like midterms, where they're stressing about a lot of tests, or maybe they have big projects, or like at the end of the year when they have state testing. And so when those times come, I like to be able to have this. And I'll show you at the end. You can pull up a spreadsheet. You can sort it by the student's name. And then you can pull all these positive things. So the other question I like to add um, is about challenges. So this one might seem silly, but um, the end of the year test is a real challenge for students um, and they take a lot of them and they take a lot of hours. And so I need my students to see all the challenges they faced over the school year and everything they've overcome. So I like to add this question and make it required also paragraph. So at the end of the year, or if they need one before then, I click on responses. I click on the spreadsheet. It will create a spreadsheet with all their answers. You can sort it um, by name, which is why first and last name is important if you have students with the same name. Um, and so then you can print off a bunch of positive things that have happened to them each week. Um, you can print off a bunch of challenges that they've overcome each week. Um, they might not have a challenge for every week, but I encourage them to fill this form out every single week and yes it is required so they can write none if nothing happened um, that week but typically they will fill it out and some of the responses will surprise you you'll learn a lot about your students this way also but it gives you something positive to hand them um, when they're having times that are stressful or they're facing challenges and they're just not sure how they're going to overcome it for them to hear their own words because this is their own answers each week so if you want this form you can grab it from pyrscare.com but this is a really cool way to add a lot of positivity and for your students to be able to see how they've overcome challenges throughout the year as they face big things like state testing